and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Star Maiden, our next meme tier Monday deck. All right, so what we got going on here is we're going to have a deck that's um, got a bunch of synergy in it. So we're going to be a Star Spring deck, which of course round end, we heal all of our damaged allies one. Okay, so we need to have our allies be damaged for that. And so our way to damage our own allies is going to be Ember Maiden. So that's kind of where we have the Star Maiden thing. We got Star Spring, Ember Maiden. So like Ember Maiden round start will deal one damage to anything, everything, sorry. And then Star Spring round end will just heal those one. So like we can just kind of do that infinitely each turn with those two in play. We're also going to have Avalanche in here, another uh, good spell against all these aggro decks, but then also another way to damage our own allies. Okay, so that's the start. Now, we want to have allies that want to be damaged, right? So we have Unscarred, so we're going to go with our Scar cards in here. So we have Unscarred Reaver that wants to be able to survive damage. Um, Scar Thane Stefan that wants to be able to survive damage, get the plus three, plus zero. And Scar Mother Verena. So a lot more um, cards that whenever they survive damage, they get the plus three, plus zero, all the Scar cards. Now, some of these scar cards, like especially these first two, they don't really have overwhelm. They don't have any elusive. Like, they're pretty easy just to block, right? It's like, that's kind of the problem with these. So we're going to be combining with more star cards. <laughs> you know, another star card, Stargazer. This brand new, rare, first time playing this one. Whenever we heal a damaged ally, give it elusive this round. So we're going to be able to um, add on a bunch of power with the scar um, things like your Scarthane Stefan will make it like a very large card and then we're going to heal it give it elusive um, and you know kill our opponents with that by giving it elusive all right so we'll have that with um, other things like uh, astral protection a great way to heal and make things larger we have guiding touch another way to heal allies and of course each time that we're healing allies we're going towards the star spring wind condition as well um, Star Shepherd, another another thing that you know, each time we're healing damage allies, it, this thing can get very big. Also, so another really good thing to grant elusive to. Uh, let's see. Besides that, um, we got Trundle as our just our champion, just because Trundle super strong, and also Trundle of course has regeneration and regeneration, um, you know, like that that does count as healing um, your ally, and then of course our Broadback Protector help keep us alive. And everything like that so lots of star cards and then finally starlet seer just a great two drop all of our spells grow our things even bigger make it easier for them to survive damage and be bigger threats and stuff like that so starlet seer should fit out here too so a lot of these cards either say the word star or the word scar <laughs> lots of stars and scars here in our star maiden deck all right so that's that's what we got we're gonna go play our five games over in normal let's see if this uh combo heavy deck or just you know very synergy heavy deck works out yeah we played a teemo deck just the other day with the teemo dreadway and then yep today we just played another teemo deck <clears throat> teemo decks are pretty sweet okay we're gonna just keep this now we need some you know we could use like the um star spring to heal our allies but you know i like the ember maiden combination with these other cards um and i'm gonna go starlet seer over star shepherd i think the skies darken with their approach so look like they're gonna be beating us down pretty fast with a bunch of dragons at least that's their Dragon blood, heart. That's their Let plan. The blood boil, half dragon. Soon. All right, we'll just take it. <laughs> um, what? They'll never feel the cold. Let's attack with those two. Uh, correct, yes, no stream tomorrow. Just taking a regularly scheduled day off. First time taking a day off in a, in a long time, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I can either go Star Shepherd and then Guiding Touch the Ember Maiden so it doesn't die, or play the Scar Thane Stefan and it will turn into a 5-3. I think I let the Ember Maiden die and play Scarthane Stefan. 
which I, I could play the Star Shepherd also. Let's see, next turn we'll have five mana, but if I don't, we can have Guiding Touch plus Bastion. It's a good card. Because I could see them challenging my 0 2 right now with their 3 1. I am watching you, dragon. And I surprise them with a guiding touch. Prepare for battle! Alright, not the best Star Shepherd right there. Just another winter. Um I can't really play Umber Maiden. I think I just pass and hold up keep the four mana or keep the three mana where next turn I can go like trundle with Bastion. Um I proved myself to the war mother. Let's go, Osu. Let's attack with all of them. That'd put them down to one if this happens. They don't have another fight spell. Yeah, that was risky. So now they go down to one and I have Ember Maiden. There are none. Let's go for it. Ember Maiden, one damage. They passed. There we go. GG's. All right. That's pretty good. Get the hype boats in our chat for our Risa. Thank you, Sarah. There are lots of healing things, but no ways to, like, deal damage. We're gonna mulligan these two. Look for things, like, look for, like, Avalanche or just... Okay, never mind, I guess I won't mulligan them. Okay, there's Avalanche at least. Um... Um, I'm passing. Well, should I attack? Good attack. So the problem of playing this card right here is that then I do not get Avalanche next turn, and I want Avalanche next turn. Come on, Rip. Oh, now my friends glow. I need to just take the two for one. I know I could pass and see if they do something, but if they just like go to their turn, I I don't want to risk anything. I just want to take the. The two for one. All right, so that's not too bad. Pill Cascade means they're not drawing a card right now. You know, they don't have it with like Tarek where they're drawing multiple cards or anything like that. Keeping um, their Flower Child is just a three one right now. Ooh, could be good. Each life well, thank you, Sarah. Rare jewel. I appreciate that. All right, let's get Star Spring in play. Shatter that. Oh, don't get too close. I feel better when you feel better. Please don't hurt them. We block here. Star Shepherd takes two. We get to heal it. I learned my scars. be a good avalanche. That could be a good avalanche. Let's get Trundle in play first. Let's let the Star Shepherd get healed another time. You, you're Tarek, the protector. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. This thing's scary. Mountain Sojourners. 
card scary. Alright, so Star Springs at 4. Out of 22. Ooh, love the Ember Maiden. Why don't I have one more mana and I can Avalanche and then play Ember Maiden? Want to take out this 5 1. Definitely. Mm. Oh, wait. Still dead. Haha. -ha. <laughs> GG. Two and oh. Another good one, Harvey. Heimer Elise. So it's like Karina control, but with Heimer instead of I. Maybe. Alright, this all looks good to keep. Um, yeah. Avalanche is good against both Heimer and Elise. Those are both champions that are trying to go wide. And then. Um, the Avalanche also works out well with our own units with the Star Spring. And then we have the Guiding Touch that works out well with that also. There's nothing to fear. Could see just trading. No, we keep Embermain. Embermain's too good. Really could have just had you last turn on Scarred Reaver? Oh, I should probably be attacking. Um, assembly bot can be really scary. Yeah, assembly bot can be pretty scary. Stand back. Skitter out from the darkness. Of course, cannot block the Elise. Hmm. A tribute to the Spider God. I should I shouldn't have blocked. Why did I play the Unscarred Reaver first? I don't know. I guess I was playing... That's right, because I was just trying to play stuff and trying to kill this assembly bot before they could grow it too much. Because um, I am scared of that assembly bot. We'll take what we need to survive. Answers. I have them. Let the flames take you. No. Divert all power to me, this game's not working out for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm not playing this too well. Cause yeah, like I I let the Ember Maiden die and I didn't have protection for it. I feel like that was a mistake. Dang. That's a lot of damage. Stop this fool. Yeah, this has been this has been just a difficult matchup. So Astral protection isn't healing too much right now. They've kind of had like a really good card against me, like no matter what I'm doing. Assembly bot's just gonna be great. All right, but now I'll have Astral Protection protecting Ember Maiden. So I feel great about that. Okay, so if I do those two, I have three extra mana, so we do have enough for Starless here. This 
would be a good winter. Yeah, I guess I I guess I need to just protect this. The only holiday with That's great news. Oh no, never mind. Heimer is gonna level up. Never mind, not great, not great news. news if Heimer didn't level up. Yeah, that's true. We could have a, a Stargazer top deck, maybe cheese out a win, get this Scarthane stepping up to 20 power. Get a 20 power elusive. Wait for Avalanche until after they play that. But then, uh, I guess that kills two of my things. I guess we could block with those things first and then Avalanche. After. Redeemer is pretty great. Fly away while you can. Just another winter. So we would need to have Stargazer, but then we'd also need to be able to heal the Star Skin. Star. All these all these words together are difficult to pronounce, but Scarthane Stefan. We'd have to be able to heal the Scarthane Stefan before attacking. And then also have the Stargazer. So not easy to pull off. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> Told y'all turn three the assembly bot was gonna kill me. It's been killing me. We see through all. Ah, an auspicious season. Had a bunch of Heimerdingers over there. Block those. Ambition in time. So why did Heimerdinger not attack? Yeah, it would have been lethal if they would have attacked Heimerdinger. Still looking, looking great, obviously. Never had an opponent miss with stalking shadows, and even the the 
person that has like all those spells and they're playing Karina with just all sorts of spells and their champions, they can't have hardly any targets for Stalking Shadows. They had it all there. Alright, let's see what we got for this matchup. We'd definitely rather be facing the, the decks that are like small units attacking a bunch. That's that's what we want to be facing more than these things that go really big. I think I'm going to keep the other three things. We'll just mulligan the Stargazer. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll keep Stargazer. Didn't we just do that? Didn't we just like mulligan two cards and then we just got those cards right back? I don't know about which which one of these I'd want to play. Neither one really does anything. It's like the Broadback Protector doesn't heal, you know, like our Nexus is at 20. That'll give us Ice Quake as a way to deal damage to our own allies. But of course, that, that kills my little Star Shepherd. Stand back. Bow to your king. Ready for anything. Ready the torches. Light the signal fires. Cool. Start doing some healing. Brothers born from battle. We're all family here. Alright, we're at three. Like the Amber Maiden. Mm, boo. Said every time you play the go get him card, people concede. What's the what's the go get him card? Are you talking about like the twelve mana one? Seven seven. I'll knock him dead. Right, I can't challenge that. Um. This is gonna be fun. Does kill my broadback protector. Bow to your king. 
Maybe I'm not supposed to do anything where my brought back protector is has a chance of dying. This is not an easy deck to play, the one that I'm playing. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I know I'm taking a little bit longer on these turns. Not exactly sure what I want to be doing. So I think we need we need to have like the start. So they've they've played I think two vengeance so far. I'm pretty sure. Maybe just one. I don't know these games kind of go together. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Stay out of our land. The stars shine a guiding light. Just need a way to like set up like an elusive kill. Somehow. So I'm kind of thinking. In service to the Imperial. We'll make quick work of you. Yeah, I guess I could have pulled Pillar with a 5-3. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Fortunately, none of the cards in my hand do anything. I guess maybe I need to play Pillar over one of these other things and just challenge over here. Just another winter. I'll knock him down. 14. Just can't heal fast enough. So yeah, maybe we do need Soraka, because Soraka can elite can heal before, you know, like while attacking and then give them elusive. That seemed like we need it does seem like we need Soraka, doesn't it? Alright, this should be a, a better kind of matchup for us though. Like the the smaller things. I like that more. Um Now, obviously, we need more units. We can't just only have one unit. Um, but as we saw last game, we have a ton of units in this deck. And so, like, we saw that last game of just, like, having a hand filled with units. So that's why I wanted to keep the spells. That's why I wanted to prioritize uh, keeping these spells. Because we need, we need a good mix of both. If I play Star Spring, then I can't have any kind of spell with Scarthane Stefan. And I want to have a spell with Scarthane Stefan, so we're not playing the Star Spring. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. There we go. Just another winter. Alright. I'm going to play the Starless here and Star Spring. Get that going. Cool brought back Protector. That card helps out. I like that. Soldiers, to me! Deadly Paths, just another day in Targa. Just gonna take that. Oh, an auspicious season. Especially a double broadback protector. We can take that. So yeah, how are we gonna get these star gazers to actually work? We don't we have I guess we only have like two cards that heal before. Yeah, like we only have two cards, right? Because like these these don't work. So the only way to have Stargazer elusive is just Guiding Touch and Astral Protection. And we only have two Astral Protections. So in the whole deck, there's only five total. They have three Guiding Touch and two Astral Protection. No prey. No pay. Okay, so it looks like Stargazer doesn't work in this deck. That's not, 
that's not a reliable um, amount of cards. So we need to be able to heal damaged allies before attacking better than what we do. My strength is yours. Hold nothing back. Blessed by snow and stars. So we're at eight for Star Spring. So I could avalanche now. This is going to be pretty tough. And <laughs> these things are not small. Bannerman and Genevieve. I got to just pass. These woods belong to us. A real battle. Fresh out of mercy. A bigger scars. Best not ruffle our feathers. Don't touch my flock. So if they have I guess I can't really stay alive. I don't yeah, I don't think there's any way to stay alive if they if they have something, you know, like if they have a a relentless pursuit. Don't think there's any kind of block I can make to stay alive. We're taking. We take exact lethal. Okay, good. No relentless pursuit. Pledge to Sejuani's service. Demacian needs heroes. The stars shine a guiding light. My shield is yours. So how would? All right, so definitely looks like uh, looks like this isn't gonna work here. Yeah, it looks like we're really missing Soraka. Just like oh. Stop. Why are they not Why are they not attacking out? Okay, there they go. The first two games would look good. Look at the first two games. Um. So honestly, maybe I just need to mulligan every single card that t that time. You know, I kept a bunch of spells with Stefan, but maybe I just need to mulligan and just look for Avalanche and Ember Maiden. in it. Like, maybe that's just something I need to do. Um, I know, so the person that donated for this deck, I know that, that they had Soraka in here before, but then whenever they donated, there's no Soraka in here. So they must, they must have taken it out. But it definitely felt like we were missing Soraka a whole bunch. Like, um... You know, even like the ability to to draw extra cards, so we could have more cards. Um, so to fit in Soraka, um, I think I would take out. I mean, I love Starlet Seer. I absolutely love Starlet Seer, and I know I know I I um, advised Starlet Seer in here before, but it looks like we just don't have enough spells, and we just didn't have enough cards. Um, and we need that we need that card advantage. Like Soraka has to be in here. Um, and because also like with Stargazer, with Stargazer doesn't work without Soraka. Like with Soraka, you can attack and have both Soraka and the thing that you're supporting. You can, you know, like if they're both damaged, you can heal them both and then give them elusive. And so they have to block with elusive. So like it can actually work with that. But I think without Soraka, this, this deck doesn't work too well. So I would definitely do that. And I would, I would honestly probably trim on Stargazers to like one or two, like three. It just... It's so difficult to turn that thing on. Um, I would look for more ways. Let's see. So like Ember Maiden, Avalanche are awesome. Are there more kind of cards like that? Like maybe maybe we just play Icequake in here also. Yeah, I like I don't I don't think I would mind having Icequake in here. We need to be able to, you know, damage our our own units, have removal. I gotta play one ice quake over over the third stargazer, or maybe it's just star shapings. They can do they can do a bunch of healing. The, okay, broadback protector and astral protection looked like two of our best cards, and they're both only two ofs. 
So maybe that's maybe that's something we need to change. Because Broadback Protector gets to damage itself, which gives us stuff to heal. Astral Protection looked great. I would I I want three of both of those cards. We didn't draw Scar Mother. I don't want to say that Scar Mother's not good. We didn't draw it. Tark has I don't I don't really like Tark has the Tribliss. Um That's like really difficult to turn on. And it, it, it makes it forces you to attack and put like your other things in an attacking position, which gives your opponent the opportunity to have to make good blocks and things like that. Like it, it puts you in a compromising position. I don't want a card that does that. So I'm not, not interested there. I just want another I want Soraka, another Astral Protection, another Broadback Protector. That's what I want. Um and I want two Stargazer, and I pretty much want an Ice Quake, but this is 42, so I'm trying to think of what I don't want in here. We don't need this Divergent Paths. That that was a card that I didn't like. Like if you draw Star Spring, great. We don't we don't need a three mana draw one Star Spring. You really don't need that card. I guess you can destroy landmarks for other matchups, but like if you, if you're facing a mirror match, maybe you need that for the mirror match, maybe. But I, I oh well. Bastion didn't really look like anything necessary, but then again, maybe if I would have had that against like whenever they're vengeancing my trundle. Uh, which happened a couple of times. Maybe I would have really liked to have that Bastion at that point. Yeah, I know Icequake can kill a lot of our own units. Yeah, I think we should be playing Icequake. I know it can damage our own things, but it's not damaging. Or it's not killing, like, it's not killing whatever we Astral Protection. It's not killing, it's not killing this thing. It's not killing Soraka. It's not killing Trundle. It's not killing Scar Mother. And it just gives, the, it can put a whole lot of damage on those things, which is great for Soraka um for healing and like that gets you to a star spring because you know you have to heal 22 damage so you have to put a lot of damage on your own things and ice quake does that it does put a lot of damage on your own things so i like that um so that we could take out one of these things probably take out unscarred reaver and keep star shepherd okay all right morning tea time really wants us to play another bonus game with the changes. So we'll play one more. So let's see how these changes do. Playing against some dragons. Um, I wouldn't really mind Ice Quake here, but I'm just going to mulligan, you know, six mana, eight mana, you know, just mulliganing those super expensive cards. This would be a good time for the Star Spring. Yeah, that's true. Soraka's champion spell of Soraka's Wish can really help out whenever, you know, like if you have Ember Maiden at the beginning of the turn, damage everything, and you have a Stargazer in play, and then you cast Soraka's Wish, that can give your whole board elusive. That's enough, you know, that's that's just enough, you know, this is, so the champion spell here is another way to heal your allies before attacking. I, I think that Soraka's necessary in this deck. Oh, why am I not attacking? attack there. Maybe they block. Lieutenant, have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. To arms! I'll follow where I can. Guiding touch works pretty well. Right, that's my job. Shepherding, I mean. Shroud the world in wings. Live with purpose. Don't let them through. I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. Keep up, old man. Things are different. Because <clears throat> you know if they challenge here, then you know we have guiding touch. You must have some. Couple guiding touches. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. I do have the second Soraka, so if they do, they'd have to have two pump spells to kill Soraka, which is which is possible. These are I'm gonna get Trundle in play. It's just such a great blocker. Basically, makes it so they can't attack with Shivana. Okay, so yeah, they have a pump spell. We look after our own. Please don't hurt them. 
So you can use the pump spell to kill Soraka. It won't let them kill Trundle. Stars. So you're at two out of four, Soraka. So obviously, I want to play Ember Maiden. Awesome. There you go, Ember Maiden. Doing work. I like it. I like it. I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. Oh, you're all so cute. <laughs> So much about stars, Soraka. Well, it's a long story. We're all family here. Ooh, Star Spring. So the the Trundle's gonna regenerate, so it, it will heal, so that will level up Soraka. Pump these things up more. All right, so that was kind of crazy. Um, let's see. So we can fully heal. Probably want the Star Spring in play before doing any kind of attacking. I don't really want to take out Ember Maiden. Like, you know, we don't have more room. <laughs> That's my problem right here is I don't have more room. I ran out of time, I kind of panicked. Didn't know what to do. There's, the Soraka has been incredible for us. Could have had a lot more of that Star Spring if I would have played it first. I guess I should have. Like I said, I kind of panicked. All right, so yeah, we'll replace this Star Shepherd. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. My Ice Pillar is a way to remove the Mind Splitters. So hopefully this works. No, it's the one on the left. No, I need to get the one on the right. Mm. Need the one on the right. The heavens diminish without my attention. Oh, that didn't work. My. No fairies all. Oh, I should have I should have had my oh no no I can't challenge any of those other things never mind. Well, a barrier, prismatic barrier. Well, that's great. Fire knows its own. The trolls are going to war. I should have cast Icequake. I need to play Icequake. Yeah, this is a wrap. This is a really difficult deck to play that I'm currently playing. This is really difficult. I, I definitely, after the Mind Splitters, I didn't play that correct of, of like where I replaced and how everything worked out. I did not do that correct. This is, this is not easy to do though. Yeah, this is really tough. But yeah, obviously this game's over. Yeah, I think I think the deck looked better. I think that the the Soraka was awesome. It's it's given us a lot of cards.
But then again, it's it's tough to, to beat just Mind Splitter, Mind Splitter, really, and so like those those cards are really good. They're very 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 large. Because really, if it wasn't for Mind Splitter, like we were gonna have like those one drops that we had were gonna be like they were huge. It was looking great for us, but Mind Splitter just won this game for my opponent. I'm not sure which one of these I want to heal. I'm healing one of them. Live with purpose. Take heart. Oh, one more mana. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have done a whole lot. too many units in this deck. That's what it's really felt like, right? Like, that we just get a board just filled with with units super fast. I wonder if we need more spells. King of Trolls, so it, these last few games we've been losing, it's just kind of been like that, like where we just have a hand filled with like all these units that don't matter. No, these cards matter. They're just playing Wish. That was a difficult game. I definitely didn't play that card. Like I, you know, I I sat there at the end of like like um whenever we drew the Star Spring of like replacing Ember Maiden or not. If I would have if I would have replaced the Ember Maiden right there, whenever we attacked and fully healed with Soraka, you know, we could have gotten another what like eight or so on the Star Spring, and maybe I could have gone towards a better Star Spring game there. Um, but yeah, maybe this twenty three fourteen. Three, so like 23 17 because the landmarks take up room also maybe that needs to be closer to like 2020 because there are a lot of great spells to play hush troll chant there's a lot of good stuff definitely feels like that um i, I liked the card draw that we we're getting with soraka that was good yeah, even like bloodsworn pledge fury of the north those may not be the, the worst and then maybe, maybe oh I, I guess it's probably just star shaping right they can just heal five, especially if we're going like with these bigger things, or we just heal our Nexus five and just invoke. Because invoking's super powerful. We should probably just be playing star shapings. I think there's something here. It's just I know the deck like originally was like, you know, trying Stargazer, but I feel like it's there's maybe something here, but you maybe have to just kind of go away from Stargazer Stargazer, Scar Mother Varena those kind of things and go with like a different top end of like the invoke cards like having um all the star shapings and then you know maybe maybe a little bit other a couple other invoke cards anyway uh we've been on this deck for a long time let's go down to the next one so that's star maiden um ember maiden star spring definitely some stuff here especially with these these fairly yord cards um those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video